My rose has a problem. The foliage appears to be healthy. However, as the bud opens, the petals look shriveled. I looked for insects, but didn't find any. What's up? And this is from Brian right here in Memphis. Jolly, what do you think's wrong with that? Well, I think the picture that he sent will, will help a little more. Yeah. Um, that's a little dried up. Dried it's hard, up to, right there. Hard, hard to tell with mm -hmm. that. But uh, from the picture, it looks like uh, something has been chewing on it. Either, you know, aphids notoriously be around buds, but he says he didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. So possibly it could be maybe thrips, because you can't really see thrips. Agreed. I grow roses at home, mm -hmm. and I think the answer to the question are thrips. Mm -hmm. okay? You need a lens, magnifying glass, to see them. Okay, mm -hmm. what happens is they're sap suckers, mm -hmm. so they're feeding on the leaves, they're feeding on the, of course, the blooms and the petals, mm -hmm. right? So that feeding actually causes that bloom to partially open or prematurely close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think that is, thrips. Now controlling thrips, pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've used in the past insecticidal soap but you have to catch them when they're very young, right? You have to know the life cycle, <laughs> catch them in the stages where, of course, you know, that's going to work. Mm -hmm. So you can use, again, insecticidal soaps work. You can use something that contains bifenthrin if you want to pull out the heavy, you know, guns there, or acephate is something else, or some of your soil drenches actually has, will suppress, you know, mm -hmm. those thrips. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you to decide which one you want to use. Mm -hmm. But I would go with the insecticidal soap first. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have hundreds more. To subscribe, just click below.